Hello and welcome to today's video. This is English Made Easy by IBPS Guide. So some of you requested a video on phrase replacement. So that is exactly what we're discussing today. We will also be looking at examples. Before we begin, I'd like to tell you a little about IBPS Guide. On our website, we provide you with free questions on a daily basis. You can use them to prepare for your banking exams as well as SSE exams. You can also check out our test series, which are of the highest standards, and all the questions come with detailed solutions. We also provide you with smart analysis at the end of every test. You can use that to understand which areas you need to work on and which areas are your strengths. Our content is also available in Hindi and English. You can switch between the two as per your preference. You can access our website through the mobile application and also our desktop site. For any more details on our quality mock tests, please visit our e-store at eStore.ibpsguide.com. Do check out our English eBook Pro exclusively on the new pattern. There are over a thousand practice questions and all of them come with detailed explanations. Topics covered are error spotting, sentence arrangement, synonyms, antonyms, reading comprehension, sentence correction, phrase replacement, and closed test. All the questions that have been asked in the recent bank exams have been covered in this ebook. You can check out this ebook at eStore.ibpsguide.com. Let's take a look at the strategies before we move on to the examples. First, read the sentence and the options to see which part they have made changes in. Two, pay attention to meaning. Three, identify nouns verbs and adjectives in the highlighted phrase. 4. Look for noun verb swaps. 5. Learn common noun and adjective suffixes. We will be discussing more about this in the next slide. 6. Familiarize yourself with perfect tense. 7. Learn commonly used prepositional collocations. 8. Learn the usage of the definite article the. Learn the usage of common prepositions such as on, at, by, off, and in. So in this session, we are going to learn how to do all of these things. Once you know it, you will definitely be able to get the right answer to the question. This is a list of the common endings for nouns and adjectives. If you would like to take a look at examples for each of these endings, you can check it out in the description box below. If you're not familiar with some of these, you can take them down. We will discuss this in detail when we're looking at examples. Let's take a look at the first example. In business, especially one as rapid evolving as mobile telecommunications, a year can be an eternity. Okay, so let's take a look at the meaning first. So they're saying that in a business that grows very fast, a short time can feel like a very long period of time because so many things happen in such a short span of time. So based on just the meaning, we can eliminate option D since we know that we are talking about the span of time and the speed of things. Now let's look into the grammar aspect. Okay, so the phrase as dash as you should be familiar with the structure of this phrase. As adjective as is the most commonly used structure. For example, as careful as, as bright as. It can also take on the form as adjective noun as. For example, as large a house as. Or it can also take on the form as adverb verb as. For example, as brightly colored as. This is usually used to compare two things that are similar or equal. Okay, so in this sentence, as rapid evolving as. So we know that evolving is a verb, right? Which means that the word before the verb has to be an adverb. So this is in the format as adverb verb as. So is rapid an adverb? Rapid means fast, right? It can be used both as an adjective or a noun, but it is definitely not an adverb, right? So when we look at the options, you can see that there is only one option with the adverb rapidly, and that is your correct answer, option C, 
as rapidly evolving as mobile telecommunications. Question 2. The intensity of rivalry has steadily increased since the entry of Reliance Geo found by the deep pocket billionaire Mukesh Ambani. Okay, so here the underlined sentence is found by the deep pocket billionaire. Let's try to understand the meaning. So they're saying that because of the entry of Reliance Geo in the market, there has been a lot of rivalry. Okay, found by the deep pocket billionaire, what are they trying to say? Are they trying to say that he found something? Or are they trying to say that he started the company? What is the usage of the word found? So here, when you look at the context, they're trying to say that he is the person who created the business, right? So here, it shouldn't be found, it should be founded, because they're saying that he started the company, right? So it has to be in the past tense. He created the company. He founded the company, okay? So founded by the deep pocket billionaire. Now we know that articles are always followed by a noun, right? And if it's not followed by a noun, the word between the noun and the article is an adjective, right? It describes the noun. So here let's take a look at the sentence and see which is the noun. The deep pocket billionaire. So billionaire is the noun. The billionaire Mukesh Ambani. Now, they've included an adjective in between to describe the billionaire Mukesh Ambani, right? So, deep pocket, what exactly are they trying to say? When they say deep pocket, they're trying to say that he has a lot of money, right? That's the meaning of the term deep pocket. Now, since we're using this as an adjective, it has to define or describe the noun. Let's look at the options. Option A and B starts with found, right? And we already discussed this. He started the company or he created the company. So it has to be founded. So options C and D uh, have the word founded. We can eliminate A and B. Option C is founded by the deep pocketed billionaire right deep pocketed means someone who has a deep pocket or something that has a deep pocket right it's describing the subject so this is grammatically correct the last one is founded by the deep pocket billionaire again it is not in the right form it is not in the adverb form so option c is the correct answer the intensity of rivalry has steadily increased since the entry of Reliance Geo, founded by the deep-pocketed billionaire Mukesh Ambani. The third question is, the amendments to the Prevention of Corruption Act 1988, adopted recently for both houses of parliament, are a mixed bag. Okay. So the underlined part is adopted recently for both houses of parliament. So what does adopted mean? Adopted means to follow something, right? To choose to follow something. If there is a set of rules and you decide to follow that, you have adopted those rules, right? Now we need to check the preposition. Here they have used the preposition for. But when do we use for? For is usually used to indicate the use of something or the purpose of something. Okay, so when you're saying adopted for, then you must mention the purpose or the reason. Adopted for this reason or adopted for this purpose, right? In this sentence, they have said adopted for both houses of parliament. So they have not mentioned any purpose or reason. Therefore, the preposition for is incorrect in this sentence. So which preposition should be used in this sentence? The meaning is that both the houses of parliament have agreed to do something or have decided to do something, right? And the preposition by is always used when you're trying to say that someone or a group 
has decided to do something or is doing something okay so here it should be adopted by both houses of parliament next when you see the options you see that three out of four options have the article the so let's talk about the usage of the article the the is used when you're talking about something specific right and if you're talking about two things if both things are independent things you can omit the article the for example singers and entertainers here they are two separate groups of people and you have omitted the use of the article the it is equivalent in meaning to saying the singers and the entertainers if you add the in front of just one of them then it means that they are the same group the singers and entertainers that means that the singers are the entertainers they do both things okay in this sentence they are talking about two houses of parliament and we know that these two houses are independent individual houses and you cannot put the article the in front of it because then it would mean that both these houses of parliament are one and the same and since that will change the meaning we will omit the article the therefore option d is the correct answer adopted recently by both question 4 by making citizens liable for offering a bribe to a public servant the anti corruption law has brought in line with the un convention against corruption okay so first let's try and fix the easy parts of it the un convention against corruption as we discussed earlier the article the is used when you're talking about something specific or something unique right there is only one un convention against corruption correct so the has to be in the sentence therefore we can eliminate options which doesn't have the article the which means you can eliminate option a and you can eliminate option d as well so that leaves us with b and c now let's look at the tense in the sentence the anti corruption law has brought in line with the un convention against corruption now we know that has brought is the present perfect tense has plus verb in its third form right and the perfect tense is used to talk about something that is completed has plus verb in its third form is a completed action right he has studied for the exam he's completed studying for the exam she has eaten her breakfast she has finished eating her breakfast right so it is used for completed action when you're talking about an action that started in the past and it's still going on it has to be in the progressive form okay so when you're using has and you have to talk about something that has started in the past but is still presently going on it has to be in the present progressive form which is has been plus verb in its third form this is the format for present progressive tense okay so in this sentence they're talking about a law that was enforced and is still being enforced which means you have to use the present progressive tense has been brought in line okay so the only option that is in the present progressive tense and also has the article the in the end is option c by making citizens liable for offering a bribe to a public servant the anti corruption law has been brought in line with the un convention against corruption therefore the correct answer is option c question number 5 while the new world technology has provided wondrous ways to communicate it has snatched away from the millennials two wonderful arts the art of conversation and letter writing so let's take a look at the options the art of conversation through letter writing so here they're saying that the conversation itself is happening through letter writing 
which means the conversation and the letter writing are parts of the same thing right and when you look at the sentence before the hyphen it says two wonderful arts right which means that they are two separate things two individual things so since option a is talking about it as if it is part of one thing you know that option a is incorrect next option b the art of the conversation and that of the letter writing okay so earlier we talked about the usage of the right so if you're talking about two individual things you don't need the article the okay it is understood that they are two separate things if you're adding the in front of just one thing then it means that both things are the same the singers and entertainers that means the singers are the entertainers they are both singers and entertainers that's what it means if you say singers and entertainers it means they are two independent individual groups okay so it is not necessary to include the in front of two things that are already individual therefore option b is incorrect as well next option c the art of conversation and the letter writing again like i told you earlier if they are two independent things you don't need the and if you are saying that they are both the same things the the has to be at the beginning you cannot add the article the only for the second option that is grammatically incorrect therefore option c is incorrect as well option d the art of conversation and that of letter writing okay now here the preposition that points to the art right so it is equivalent in meaning to saying the art of conversation and the art of letter writing which is clearly showing that they are two different things and they are talking about two arts right as mentioned in the sentence before the hyphen therefore option d is the correct answer the art of conversation and that of letter writing next question the daunting task for the student was to select a career path that was related to his personal interests especially since he spend his time to write acting surfing skateboarding paint and photography okay now the entire sentence as you can see is in past tense the daunting task for the student was to select a career path that was related to his personal interests especially since he spent so spend is in the present form it has to be in its past form which is spent so based on this we can eliminate options a and c we are left with options b and d let's read the rest of the sentence especially since he spent his time to write acting surfing and so on now a verb that has the ing form is a gerund right so here they're talking about names of actions right singing painting they're talking about an action and they are naming it which means the gerund is functioning as a noun so all the verbs in the list are functioning as nouns so as you can see in the list apart from act and paint everything else is already in the noun form photography is already a noun acting is a noun surfing is a noun skateboarding is also a noun so now we will convert write and paint to its noun forms as well writing acting surfing skateboarding painting and photography all right next spend his time to writing okay now obviously there is an error here you can tell that they have used the wrong preposition right now to know which preposition has to be used in the sentence you first need to recognize the phrase spend time there are only two usages for this phrase you can say spend time on and you can say spend time with 
spend time on is used when you're talking about material things or non-living things or ideas spend time with is used when you're talking about people so in this sentence they are talking about activities which means that you have to use the preposition on spend time on writing painting and so on if you're saying spend time with you will say that you're spending time with friends spending time with family and so on the same applies to spend money on as well therefore option b is the correct answer next question unveiling a mini budget of sorts in the middle of the financial year the goods and service tax council has announced reduction in the tax rates for over 85 goods okay now let's take a look at the options option a or reducing in the tax rates okay so we know that the article is followed by a noun here reducing is not a noun it's a verb right so option a is grammatically incorrect or reducing is incorrect next option b or reduction this is correct this is an article followed by a noun so that is correct in terms of grammar option c reducing off the tax rates okay this is a verb but there is no article in front of it so that is fine as well option d a reduction for the tax rates now the preposition for we discussed earlier that it is used to introduce a purpose or a reason right a reduction for the tax rates so they are not talking about any purpose or reason right so for is the incorrect usage in this sentence so you can eliminate option d as well we're left with option b and c a reduction in the tax rates for over 85 goods option c reducing of the tax rates for over 85 goods now before the underlined part you can see the word announced has announced right so this is in the present perfect tense as you can see announced is the verb so the verb is already present in the sentence which means you cannot use a verb after the verb right so reducing of the tax rates would be grammatically incorrect announced reducing both of them are verbs and cannot be placed side by side okay so the correct answer is a reduction in the tax rates for over 85 goods option b is the correct answer next question neither the tdp which moved the no confidence motion nor the congress the principal opposition party entertained the faintest hope of bringing down the narendra modi government a year before its term ends but they reckon the debating and vote exercise was still worth their while all right so the first thing you need to notice is that the sentence is in the past tense right entertained right was still worth their while so you have clues that the entire sentence is in past tense which means the verb reckon also has to be in the past tense so it has to be but they reckoned the debating and vote exercise right so you can see that options a b and d are in the past tense so you can eliminate option c next but they reckoned the debating and vote exercise now we know that the article is always followed by the noun and we also talked about how an adjective can be present between the article and the noun so the adjective describes the noun correct so here exercise is the noun debating and vote is what describes the noun what kind of exercise was it it was a debating and vote exercise so earlier we talked about how gerunds or verbs in their ing forms can be used as nouns right for example painting writing singing these are names of the action so therefore they become a noun we talked about this in one of the previous questions it can also serve as an adjective which describes the noun 
like in this sentence debating exercise so what kind of exercise was it it was a debating exercise so that word describes the noun exercise therefore for it to be an adjective for the verb to function as an adjective it has to be in its gerund form which means that the verb vote also has to be in its gerund form so the correct usage will be the debating and voting exercise now let's take a look at the options option a says they reckoned a debating and voting exercising which means that exercising is also in its verb form this is incorrect since we have the article the right so exercise has to be in its noun form so you can eliminate option a next option b but they reckoned the debating and voting exercise this is grammatically correct let's take a look at option d as well but they reckoned the debating and voting exercises now if exercises was in plural form the verb following it has to be in plural form as well right so here you can see that the verb is in singular form it says was still worth their while if it was exercises it would have been were still worth their while right so option d is incorrect as well therefore option b is the correct answer but they reckoned the debating and voting exercise was still worth their while for more examples and sample question papers please check out our english ebook pro all the questions are in the new pattern and all of them come with detailed solutions to check out this ebook please visit estore.ibpsguide.com all right everyone that's all for today's video i hope you found the tips useful do leave your thoughts in the comment section below we would love to know what topics you want us to cover in the next video if you liked this video please like share and subscribe for regular updates we will be uploading more tips and tricks videos and videos on vocabulary as well as always work hard and work smart